Well, here we are with the cleanup portion of Forever King. I'm hacking away at the ogre, healing as I go, strike, heal. Or I should say strike block, strike block, and eventually heal. And what drives me crazy is the ogre apparently does not always drop the item, which is utterly maddening because this takes a while. A while. Oh, really? Oh my god, Th this was my third time. This drop is not guaranteed. I was actually starting to sweat over whether this was not a new game plus or something. Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go save now. What I had done was whenever I would get low on health, I'd run back to the fountain. But then I realized ah, these healing items are a dime a dozen, whatever. Let's see what the skeleton mask is good for. If I can even find it. Oh, here it is. It's the very last one. And it's actually quite good, considering it's only minus 10 with, um, well, well, it's attack, but compared to my mask, which is fully upgraded. And all that other stuff, the elemental stuff isn't great, but a mask worn by a legendary warrior referred to as the Deceiver. Its appearance protects against physical attacks. Defense is only minus 42 compared to what I have. But again, non-upgraded versus upgraded. That's pretty good. Where is the thing I have equipped? Okay, it's just the purity headband. That's pretty nice. That's pretty good. But more importantly, with this, that means there's only one item that I missed in my initial playthrough other than this one. So I'm gonna go get it. Well, here we are in the endless waterfall, grinding away to find a bat enemy that hopefully has an item I'm looking for. Will I be lucky and find one? And will it actually drop what I'm looking for? I mean, here's the bat, right? I can pretty consistently get the drop. It's just that it only ever appears, like there's just one bat. Oh, thank goodness. Fourth try. Not so bad. Dragalos armor. That's very satisfying. At this point, I have every single thing in the game that I could find just by naturally looking at a first playthrough. The only thing that is left at this point is what I can get from the Colosseum after beating everything on a bonus game. Feathers from the magical bird Dragalos that will protect the user against fire and earth attacks. Marvelous. Now to make it to the end of the game. Here I am concluding the Colosseum fight, hopefully. Let's just hope that I beat this. This is a, a very stressful experience. We'll find out. This might be a good sign that when he throws the fireballs, he usually comes up next to us. Or not, it's fine. He double dashed that time, it's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, okay, fam, I got the kill. Thank goodness. Once again, I'm down to one revive gem. But we're the first one ever to win this. The Moonlight Sword, right? Again? No, it's the Moon Fragment. It's a brand new item, only attainable in bonus game, ladies and gentlemen, and I believe it's a talisman. This is the last item in the game, this is it. And I don't know which thing it is. That's what it is. Sonic Wave. Are, are you serious? For use with the Moonlight Sword. Huh. I'm gonna have to try this out. But in any case, this is it. That's every item. I guess I'll smack something outside the, for, um, the Forgotten Valley. Great battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great battle. Great battle. Let's really stock up on those life extracts. I'm pretty bitter that I used all but one revive gem. I had two left, but then I got one shot. That was very frustrating. Let's first of all save because I am very concerned.
Excellent. And now let's go outside. I'm very excited about this. I bet it's the traditional Moonlight Sword shock thing. Because remember, normally you can only use magic attacks when you have a Palmyra attack. And the Moonlight Sword does not inherently come with Palmyra. So this Moon Fragment will probably take care of just that. There, I can cast now. So... Yeah, there it is. It didn't do terribly much damage, because I guess this guy's got an electricity thing, but we've seen it. There it is. That's it. Actually, I think that's the move Drumcorp uses when he finishes his combo. He sends that wave at you, and then that obnoxious little blast comes out. I don't think I'm going to end up ultimately using this with the Moonlight Sword, but that's pretty cool. And if I want to re-equip, I'll need to go to Talismans of all places. Oh, must have been this. Lightning icon. Divine Light. That's what I want. That's what I need to beat the game with. Speaking of which, I gotta do that now. Well, I couldn't skip the final cutscene, but I could skip the credits. Items acquired. 100%. It can be done. Are you kidding me? I don't get a congratulation screen? Just, this is how much you get. Okay, that's fine. Well, I do get a reward for it, although I don't know the extent of it. Let's take a look. Hey, look, there's a secret option. Bonus game was visible, but not clickable until you beat the game. But gallery, I think, is brand new. I think there are only five items in the menu. Let's take a look. Large versus small size. Large size, where you get a pan. So maybe I'll do small size. I like that the small still kind of fits the screen. There you go. Oh, L1 and R1 change illustration. That was weird for a second. Here we go. It's another illustration that I can zoom in on. Oops, I went large. I'm sorry. There we go. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Not that I can read it, but... Manga looking thing. And the final illustration, I think. Pretty cool looking. That's it. That's what you get for 100%ing the game, which requires beating the final Colosseum and the final boss twice. You get five pictures. I think I liked Evergrease's reward better, but you know what? I did it. I perfected Forever Kingdom. That was a lot of effort, but I hope you found it enjoyable. Until next time, everyone.